Alright you guys, what's going on? Welcome back to some more Days Gone. This is the Sawmill Horde. This is supposed to be, I believe, the biggest horde. This is actually a mission. Um, you can see down here, I unlocked the point of going around to kill all of these hordes. So all these hordes need to be killed. <laughs> There's a lot of them. And, but in order to further the story, I have to kill the horde at the old sawmill. All right, so that being said, I'm not sure if I'm prepared for it, but so I had to escape the southern region with the militia because they went all Old Testament on me <laughs> and come down here and they actually came down here and attacked Lost Lake. Um, try not to give any spoilers, but uh, yeah, there's some people that aren't around anymore. Wolves. We got wolves. Runners, wolves, cougars, all after me. Now, I have a feeling that a lot of these missions, like you say you want to do it during the day, you go there, it changes it on you. Like, I have a feeling this mission is going to change me to nighttime. What I'm going to try and do is. Oh, jeez. So, the idea here of the old sawmill is there's a lot of places to run, a lot of things to climb, a lot of um, narrow areas for you to kind of, you know, crunch all this, all the freakers together. Problem with that is I suck. All right, we're going to put this here. We're going to quick save here. So on my back, I've got an RPD and the Chicago chopper. Now the RPD is strong. It's strong, but it's very inaccurate, right? It's it's kind of like all over the place. But it it's almost like it's a one bullet kill, okay? And I've got um I've got no skill points, but there's a skill that you can get that helps with like bullet penetration. So that you really want that skill against hordes, right? Because as you're shooting into the group, you don't just want to kill the first guy. You want that bullet to go through and hit the next one. So I guarantee you when I go over to the, there to that little waypoint, it's going to turn this to night. I guarantee it. Oh, my God. That's a lot of freaks. Whoa. Uh, they're part dead, maybe from what I killed before. Oh, I can see them. For some reason, my binoculars aren't working anymore. I can see them. All right, so... Plant some traps. Gotta plant some traps. There's a lot of different ways to do this. So I've I've been going up against some uh, some smaller hordes. I'm gonna show you up here. Up here. So I got to level three in Hot Springs. I cleared a horde here, one here, uh, one here by by the crater, and another one by uh, the town. So I've cleared, what does it say? Four of seven hordes in this region. I think I accidentally did one or two there. But again, those those were pretty small hordes. I went during the day. I'm going to show you some of the strategy. I went during the day, stood in the front of the cave. And when you zoom like that, you can see them all sitting in there. I set a couple traps. I threw a, a uh, napalm bomb in. Yeah, and it was, it was beast mode. All right, so... I like the remote traps a lot because I don't like having, I mean the proximities, because I don't like to do the remotes. But that being said, if this doesn't change to nighttime, <laughs> and if I can get him to chase me, I don't know if they're going to come up on this part here though. So you can blow these up. You don't want to blow, you don't want them hitting the very front guys, right? Because you're only getting a couple. You want them to be running over it at the time and I believe that they go in order like as you hit right on the d-pad it will go in order all right Let's see what we can do here I think they're all inside there oh there they are so the the thing about the napalm bomb right if you throw it at them like a molotov you waste it you want to throw it like down at them 
because it kills a huge group. I was in a cave and I threw it down and man, it does work. All right. I don't know how these guys are going to come out, but uh, maybe we can do a little... Let's do a little attractor on them. A tractor bomb if I can chuck it in there. Yeah, go check out it. See how they like that thing. It just sounds like they're gonna. First bomb! Okay. Second bomb! Third bomb! Got their attention. That didn't lower the the amount very much. Okay, there's a lot more here. Nikes! Eater, eater! Boost! Nitro boost! Okay, 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 okay. Let's see if I can reload real quick. Look at them. Bunch of fools. Ready! Ready! Reloading for days. So there's a number of ways to do this, you guys. You could get in there and run the track, right? You could run around in there doing all the traps and stuff, but if you look, I'm barely making a dent in these guys. Look at the bar right now. See, it's like one or two shots, and those guys are gone. <laughs> All right, so you can see they're heading back in, the group of them. I'd love to get, if I could run them, if I could run them, I haven't even tried this area though. It's like, how are you supposed to test the area before, <laughs> before you go for the fight? All right, so I've got um, some ammo here, three saddlebags, so that should refill 160, there we go. I'm going to roll back down there, get set up again for, for an escape if I need to. See, if you just roll, it's really quiet. Go in through the trees. They'll never expect you in the trees. Don't line yourself up next to the... Uh, <laughs> next to that thing where you're going to run into the darn thing. Look at all the X's. I got a lot of kills there, but it barely put a dent in this thing. Killed a fair amount of them. Now, I don't have the extended mag for the Chicago Choppa, the Thompson. But I tell you what, as good as this RPD is, you if you need to switch, switch. Because that thing puts them down. It fires faster. It, I think it reloads faster, right? I think it might reload faster. There is a huge horde here, you guys. See them all over there? Oh, see, what I'm afraid is if I go that way, that they'll come out of here. <laughs> what? Okay, I did not mean to do that. So that's a quick little action that you do, but it spins your camera around like crazy. Be a good place for some prox bombs. Can't put it in the water, I guess. See, now these will only get like the first groups. I don't know how good that's going to be. All right, remote bombs. It seemed like they all ran up and over this thing, didn't it? Kind of. You know what? I'm going to put one back here for my second one. You got to remember, too, like your your bomb, where you're actually putting them. Because what if I'm standing on the dang thing? Now, if I could get up there and throw a Molotov back. Can I get up this? Let me see. Jump up here. Jump up here. Jump up here. Jump up here. <laughs> Jump up here and then throw a Molotov back at the group. All right, 
So as I'm doing that, what might be good would be buy me some time with a proximity bomb right here. You have to buy yourself a little bit of time to climb, you know? All right. Let's try that. And let's run uh, the chopper. So we're going to try and bring him through here this time. We're going to run up that. I have one detonation to do. There they are. See that group over there? That's the one I'm worried is going to meet me on the other side. All right, how about... second to get to that third one below the second one there's that one now i gotta get to my napalm throwables oh my god for days dude four of them Some pretty oh, good yeah. napalm bombs. So big on these spears. <laughs> oh, they're close. They're too close. They're too close. Ah, turbo. Ooh. Okay, let me get off a second. Reload. Dude, those nate see what I mean? If you're above, if you're above, and you could throw your napalm bomb down, that's where it's most useful, most effective. Yeah, I gotta be careful because I don't have a ton of inventory of items. If I can get down here, get my motorcycle turned around and shoot him again. They're so dumb. Come on, hordes. You know who you're messing with? I'm meaty. I kill freakers oh, yeah. for a living. Reloading every day. Those other fools are still going back in there. All right. This is a long run. It's a long run from down here, I tell you that. Look at, there's still a lot of them. Um. Did not a lot of them got down there. Here they come. I'm pretty far from my bike. See, they're coming from two different directions. I knew, I feared they would. I can't believe the game let 
me do this during the day. But at night, they would be out, right? They wouldn't be all, like, inside here. Okay, ran out of ammo on that. Oops, I ran by my bike. My bad. Are you still liar? Heal! I accidentally ran by my bike. Man, they're almost gone. But I did run out of ammo in that gun. There's some more ammo. We'll finish him off with the Thompson. The chopper! Get to the chopper! I don't know, almost, I have a PPSH I was going to try and use, but it doesn't have nearly enough ammo like this does. This gun is so good because it has a lot of ammo. Not only in the magazine, but in, in reserve. It's like a two, bu two bullet kill, some is a one. Put that in your pipe and smoke it, son. Give my chopper. All right, these guys are almost gone. Let's see, I better reload this thing. Oh, it's reloaded for me. Oh, thank you. All right, you fools. I'm gonna finish them before it gets nighttime. want some 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 chicken is walked back into the hen house I think so again you know you see how I did that one little thing where I went up there there's a number of different ways you can do this this whole facility is designed to climb up on you can go back inside where they're at get up on the roof run through that thing there's all kinds of things you can do but there's also Many ways that you don't need to do what they want you to do. How did I kill so many over here? Is that inside? Oh, these were the napalm bombs right here. Look at all the X's here from the napalm. <laughs> Holy cow. That's crazy. That is a lot. I'm telling you, that's why they said, oh, you can cut that lumber right there too. So if you're running through here, you go, Hoo! and that would fall on their head. I think there's a few things like that around here. There's a bunch of more napalm kills right here. I think there's some... Must be up here. So th all these X's here from those two prox mines I did. So proximity mines, good. The remote debt, you've got to do that as you're running away. So you got to be sprinting and hit uh, right on the D-pad as you're running away. So, you know, it takes a little bit of little bit of doing. But the the prox mines, the problem with the prox mines versus the remote detonated, like I said, you wait till the first, you know, batch runs over and then you What up, fellas? Medical, please. I didn't think there was <laughs> any left in there. Stand your ground, man. Come up here. Something to talk to you guys about. Give it a chopper. Give me a chopper. Not running away again. Last one, melee! No, there's still. Oh, I see you two up there. There's two dudes up there. 
There's one here to the left. Little fella. Yeah, you can, if you feel so, so parkourish that you can run around in here, feel free. I like my method. Run like a baby. <laughs> run like the wind. What is that? Oh, you can close that door. Interesting. You can also shoot that thing. You can also knock down this. Huh! Shut the door. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things you could do as they're chasing you. All right, you ready? See ya! Yes, fill the truck with some creosote. So, that's how I do this one. <laughs> it was pretty good, right? I didn't die. I didn't die. And I could have, uh, if I needed to, you know, I could have gotten away um, to fight another day. I really, again, I really think the Molotov, not the Molotovs, the, um, na the napalm, the big jugs of napalm Molotovs, really good. You just got to throw it down at them, okay? You got to throw it down at them. All right, so I got to call um, Boozer over here with the dump truck to get some creosote oil. Some fools here. Who are these guys over here? Give me all your ears. So these ears I can use to sell if I need just a little bit of trust or money in a camp. Um, I did get up to like, I don't know, a thousand something after fighting a couple of hordes. But that's pretty fun. That's pretty fun right there. Gotta say, uh, the hordes are, are pretty cool. Now, I was, I was a little bit concerned with this one because it was a mission. But all the other hordes, I fought during the day. Go, you know, when they're in a cave, you can crouch walk into the cave. You can put down a couple remote, remote dead mines. And, uh, yeah. As they start to run out, you give them a second. You give them a little time to get across those. And you start blowing them up. You know, as they're getting about maybe 20 deep or something. And you're going to get much more bang for your buck. <laughs> Literally, if you know what I'm saying. Literally! All right, so if I go over here, I should be able to call Boozer. So I had to fill up the truck initially with fertilizer, and it was over in the old Ripper area of Iron Butte. And I had, I had a horde there to kill too, but it was an open field. It was, it was actually pretty easy. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Looks like I missed all the fun. You did. Yeah. Next time, I drive the truck. You fight the freakers. Yeah, brother. Okay, just pull it over there. All right, you got it. <clears throat> Fill her up, partner. All right, that's it. I think we're making a giant Head truck back to bomb. Camp. I'll meet you there. <clears throat> all right. And uh, booze man. Drive. Carefully. Yeah. <laughs> so we got fertilizer what from Iron think? Butte. That I'm gonna blow myself up. And we're putting fuel oil, creosote oil in, which is like rail oil. This stuff that makes a fertilizer bomb, and that is one big boom. If you know what I'm saying. Nice mission complete, 100% too. I'll save you. I'll save some for you. Anyway, you guys, that was a horde. I wanted to make sure that I showed you because it's it's one of the big ones. It's one of the big hordes. But uh, I'm definitely going to bring you some more horde action because there's you saw the hordes I had to fight. Bring some cool ones. Maybe do a montage of horde ownage. All right, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below to say hello. See you guys next episode.